So a new update was just announced for Halo Infinite and get ready because it's time for more nostalgia. And some of the leaks and rumors coming around with this operation seem to actually be something that I would be interested in jumping in and playing because I've only completed two out of the last six operations. So what might actually be part of this operation update? Well, I have some information for you guys. I'm glad you asked. Before we get into it, like and subscribe is always appreciated, you know, because of YouTube things. And let's get right into those details so this was just tweeted saying champions rise here operation champions arrives on september 3rd 2024 so what can that really mean well we did get this little trailer i guess you want to call it that's a little four second clip of uh rotating around a couple of spartans red and blue which i'm not sure if they're trying to implement like hey we're returning back to red and blue spartans for something i don't know uh, but one thing that's really important to take in consideration is what is this background, right? Well, a lot of people have pointed out this actually might be a level from Halo Reach, that level being Powerhouse. So take a close look at what we're actually seeing here. I think what really shows it being actually like Powerhouse is one, this little staircase that's kind of great about over here. That kind of looks very familiar to what we saw at that lower half of Powerhouse. And also when you go a little bit further over to the right, right here, you can see we get also the very familiar light structures and there is a bit of like a warehouse structure which is very similar to what we've seen back in the map powerhouse so we're getting a reach remake that's cool but uh this seems to be a little bit more than just like a new map coming in and can i just say thank god for the api leakers because we are completely left in the dark when it comes to whatever's coming around here in what like a week or so which i just find it crazy that we just don't know anything about it yet uh but this is what's going to come around guys it all person champions ushers in a refresh to firefight experience with the firefight battle of reach playlist along the 20 tier new uh operation pass new exchange items and things like that so that's gonna be going from september 3rd all the way till october 8th which a reach themed firefight thing like that actually sounds kind of fun like that's somewhat of a newer experience that i would definitely be willing to jump in and try out but it does seem like there might be something more behind it because why call this the Ch operation of champions right operation champions when it's about like, reach themed content well uh some people have been kind of starting to speculate for the longest time that a champion rank might come back into halo infinite one of our favorite streamy boys over here Uber Nick said it's time showcasing a picture of game champion in every playlist right here. Uh, if you guys don't know what champion is, it's basically showcasing the top 200 people ranked in a certain playlist, get placed in the champion rank. It's just a nice logo to flex on the people, right? That's, that's all it is, that's, it, really. Which champion rank has been a long requested feature within Halo. A lot of people loved it back in Halo 5 and just haven't seen it since. And the last time we heard about it was Quite some time ago actually almost like over a year ago right here we're saying tashi said there's no champ rank coming with season four this is an archive tweet back in june of 23 so it's been a hot minute where tashi just confirms there will be no champion rank coming with season four which i mean it's funny like i mean this would line up with like how the content flow is right now with halo if that it takes about a year for anything to really get implemented into the game. At least that's what it feels like. Because like I mentioned in my last video, which you definitely should go check out and watch, we know that Headhunter was recently added in the Halo Infinite, but what if I told you that the community was a year in advance when it comes to that stuff, as in right here, showcasing this gameplay saying, I have recreated Headhunter in Halo Re uh, from Halo Reach, in Halo Infinite's Forge mode, and this was posted over a year ago, showcasing how they had a rough estimate of how to make Headhunter work, which Headhunter in Halo Infinite right now is made within Halo Infinite's Forge. It isn't a dev-made mode, it's a Forge-made mode. I just bring that up because I feel like this would be actually a possible time we would see Champion Rank come back into Halo Infinite for the 0.01% of people who can actually achieve that. But hey, it's good for content. But back on the things to do with this upcoming update, the big thing is going to be this Battle of Reach playlist for Firefight. But the important thing is, I don't know if this is Grunt API just kind of being on the Twitter limitations of characters, but he specifically said Firefight Battle of Reach, which makes me wonder if it's still going to be King of the Hill. One of the main comments I saw actually down below here with 
one of the most liked comments within this thread saying, please don't be king of the hill, which personally, I kind of like the whole king of the hill aspect when it comes to uh, firefight within Halo Infinite. I think it adds a nice little twist to it. Just gives it something different rather than just kind of standing around and shooting guys. It gives you like a purpose to move throughout the map and stuff. I would definitely like to see if there are more themes that 343 could play off of that are reach like to be able to be added into this Battle of Reach playlist. Maybe you start out with like the Bandit Rifle DMR kind of thing. Maybe focus more on what weapons were in Reach. Maybe even add in Forge created weapons or merged weapons that we see oftentimes within uh, Halo Infinite's Forge added into the matchmaking so I could pass it. Now I have no idea if that's even a possibility or if that's something that would just completely break with online matchmaking, but we've seen it done previously within Halo Infinite's Forge. I'm curious if they'll do any kind of sandbox update with this because right now within Halo, especially on the competitive side of things, which is one of the most popular modes within Halo Infinite, that there are a lot of GAs being talked about, general agreements, general agreements being that they that players will agree to not use specific weapons that are, are on the map because they feel like they are uh, not balanced properly for competitive gameplay. Uh, Lucid made a fantastic 40 minute long deep dive video into all this if you guys want to know exactly, but talking about weapons like the assault rifle, the heat wave, the shotgun, disruptor, a little bit about the commando as well. Uh, they'll talk about which ones to actually GA if they actually will GA, but talking about the issues that a lot of these weapons bring when it comes to the competitive sandbox. And 343 is definitely not opposed to making drastic changes to the sandbox just literally like days before and even a major tournament. So could we see some changes like that come around? I mean, possibly. We're not totally sure what's going to be coming with this besides like that battle of reach firefight thing which certainly i think is a great addition for the casual side of things but what can we get besides just like that or could we get like a change to the networking system because i know a lot of people complain about that as well there are a lot of different little things that 343 could definitely change is there a ui update finally coming around because that would certainly be nice but uh i would doubt that as well but we just don't know like we're so left in the dark when it comes to development of halo if i know a lot of people like to think that content creators are just like have like dms constantly open direct text messages with developers let us know what's actually happening i'll tell you right now we don't know anything that's happening like whatever happened to this leaked map of vestige being the halo 2 remake of relic like we've seen this map in official content from 343. if you look at the customization overview of content 32 back with like the banish honor update you can see that relic is in the background right here it just hasn't been released. This happened four months ago when they used this image. So are we ever getting this map put into the game? I mean, I, hopefully, but would a Reach themed firefight place really bring people back into Halo Infinite? I mean, for the people who want to jump back in and play the game, I would say, yeah, probably. I'm going to fast forward through this. I want all this green on my screen. It looks annoying, but <laughs> um, I mean, I don't really know if there really be anything that would be super exciting for the general public. I think most people would be more excited about like a 4v4 reach style playlist, right? Use utilizing the bandit Evo or something like that as your starting weapon, playing on some old school reach maps and people and maybe find some way to bring back some of those old abilities. That would be really fun. Uh, but doing it within Firefight makes it kind of just feel like it's like something that's made for more like a niche group of people rather than the general public who want to play Halo. So again, like I said, like I think that this update is going to be something that's going to be, you know, fun for the week or even the day that it comes out. I definitely will be streaming it on my channel. I'll be busy on the 3rd, but on the 4th, I'll definitely live stream it here on my YouTube channel and on Twitch. You guys see like what the experience is like and then make a review video over it as well because it's it's halo content guys we got new halo content we got to talk about it but i'm definitely interested to see how a reach themed firefight mode will play within halo infinite i like halo infinite's gameplay the foraging in the game is incredible there's so many different opportunities for cre amazing creations to be done within halo infinite so i'll definitely keep an eye out for you guys and you know if you guys enjoy these type of videos make sure if you made it this way this far into the video Make sure to leave a green heart. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see some more Halo content. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.